Furthermore, Sun Godlet had found the door of liberation of pure light shining on sentient beings of the ten directions, always benefiting them forever and ever. The deity, Light Flame Eyes, found the door of liberation, enlightening sentient beings through the agency of all corresponding bodies, causing them to enter the ocean of wisdom. The deity, Polar Mountain Light Joy Banner, found the door of liberation, of being the leader of all sentient beings and having them diligently cultivate boundless pure qualities. The deity, Pure Jewel Moon, found the door of liberation, of the joy of profound determination, cultivating all ascetic practices. The deity, Non-Regressing Courage, found the door of liberation, of unhindered light, shining everywhere, causing all beings to increase in purity and clarity. The deity, Light of a Beautiful Flower Garlands, found the door of liberation, of pure light illuminating the bodies of all sentient beings and causing them to produce oceans of joy and faith. Supreme Light Banner found the door of liberation, of light illuminating all worlds, causing them to perfect various wonderful qualities. The Deity, Universal Light of a Jewel Top Knot, found the door of liberation, of the ocean of great compassion, manifesting jewels of various forms and colors of boundless realms. The deity, Eyes of Light, found the door of liberation, purifying the eyes of all sentient beings, causing them to see the matrix of the cosmos. The deity, Virtue Bearing, found the door of liberation, developing pure, continuous attention, never letting it be lost or broken. The deity, Universal Light found the door of liberation, carrying the palace of the sun all over, shining on all sentient beings of the ten directions, allowing them to accomplish their work. At that time, Sun Godling, imbued with the Buddha's power, surveyed all the sun deities and said in verse, The Buddha's great light of knowledge illuminates all land in the ten directions. All sentient beings can see the Buddha's various disciplines, and manifold techniques. The forms of the Buddha are, are boundless, appearing to all according to their inclinations, opening up the ocean of knowledge for all worlds. Flame Eyes beholds the Buddha in this way. The Buddha body is peerless. It has no compare. Its light shines throughout the ten directions, transcending all, supremely unexcelled, such a teaching has joyful attained. Practicing austerities to benefit the world, traversing all realms of existence for countless ages, this light is everywhere as pure as space. Jeweled moon knows these techniques. The Buddha speaks the wondrous sound without obstacle. It pervades all lands in the ten directions, benefiting the living with the flavor of truth. Courageous knows this technique. Emanating inconceivable nets of light, everywhere purifying all conscious beings, he causes them to engender profound faith. This is the way Flower Garland has entered. All the lights in the world cannot match the light of a single pore of the Buddha. This is how inconceivable the Buddha's light is. This is the liberation of Supreme Banner Light. The way of all Buddhas is thus. They all sit under the tree of enlightenment and bring the errant to the right path. Jewel top knot light sees in this way. Sentient beings are blind, ignorant, and suffering. The Buddha wants to make them produce a pure eye and so lights the lamp of wisdom for them. Good eye looks deeply into this. Honored master of liberating techniques, if any see him and make an offering, he causes them to cultivate practice and reach the result. This is virtue's power of means. In one teaching, there are many aspects. For countless ages, he teaches this way. The far-reaching meanings of the teachings expounded are comprehended by universal light.
Furthermore, Moon Godling found the door of liberation, of pure light illuminating the universe, edifying all sentient beings. The deity, Flower King Topknot Halo, found the door of liberation, observing worlds of all sentient beings, and causing them to enter the boundless truth. The deity, Myriad Subtle Pure Lights, found the door of liberation, knowing the various operations of clinging to objects in the ocean of the minds of all sentient beings. The deity, pacifying the hearts of the world, found the door of liberation, bestowing inconceivable happiness on all sentient beings, causing them to dance with joy. The deity, luminosity of tree king eyes, found the door of liberation, protecting agricultural work, the seeds, sprouts, stocks, etc., according to the season, causing it to be successfully accomplished. The deity, manifesting pure light, found the door of liberation, compassionately saving and protecting all sentient beings, causing them to witness the facts of experiencing pain and pleasure. The deity, immutable light traveling everywhere, found the door of liberation, able to hold the pure, clear moon and show it throughout the ten directions. The deity, sovereign monarch of constellations, found the door of liberation, showing all things to be illusory and like empty space, formless without inherent nature. The deity, moon of pure awareness, found the door of liberation, performing great works for the benefit of all beings. The deity, great majestic light, found the door of liberation, universally cutting off all doubt and confusion. At that time, moon godling, imbued with the spiritual power of the Buddha, surveyed all the celestial hosts in all the moon palaces and said in verse, The Buddha radiates light pervading the world, illuminating lands in the ten directions, expounding the inconceivable, far-reaching teaching, to destroy forever the darkness of ignorance and delusion. He is sphere, is infinite, and inexhaustible. He teaches eternally through countless aeons, edifying beings through various powers. Flower Tapna looks upon the Buddha in this way. The ocean of sentient beings' minds varies from moment to moment. The Buddha's knowledge is so broad it comprehends all this, expounding the truth for them, all making them glad. This is the liberation of subtle light. Sentient beings have no holy tranquility. Sunk in evil ways, they suffer many pains. The Buddha shows them the nature of things. Peaceful meditation sees in this way. The Buddha, with unprecedented great compassion, enters all states of existence to help sentient beings, explaining truth, encouraging virtue, promoting fulfillment. This is known to I, light. The Buddha opens the light of truth, analyzing the natures of the acts of all worlds. Their good and their evil, without a mistake. Pure light, seeing this, gives rise to joy. The Buddha is the basis of all blessings, like the earth supporting all buildings. He skillfully shows the peaceful way out of distress. Immutable knows this technique. The bright glow of his fire of knowledge pervades the universe. He manifests countless forms, equal to all beings, exposing true reality for the benefit of all. Monarch of constellations realizes this path. The Buddha is like space, with no inherent nature, appearing in the world to benefit the living. His features and refinements are like reflections. Pure awareness sees in this way. The pores of the Buddha, body, emit sounds everywhere. The clouds of the teachings cover all worlds. All those who hear are joyful and glad. Such is the realization of liberation light. Furthermore, the Gandharva king, sustaining the nation, 
found the door of liberation, of independent techniques, for saving all sentient beings. The Gandharva king, Tree Light, found the door of liberation, seeing the array of all virtues. The Gandharva king, Clear Eyes, found the door of liberation, cutting off forever the grief and suffering of all sentient beings, producing a treasury of joy. The Gandharva king, Flower Crown, found the door of liberation, forever cutting off the confusion of all sentient beings, erroneous views. The Gandharva king, universal sound of joyful steps, found the door of liberation, like clouds, overspreading, shading, and refreshing all sentient beings. The Gandharva king, joyously moving, beautiful eyes, found the door of liberation, manifesting an enormous, beautiful body, causing all to obtain peace and bliss. The Gandharva king, wondrous sound, lion banner, found the door of liberation, scattering all famous jewels in all directions. The Gandharva king, universal emanation of jewel light, found the door of liberation, manifesting the pure body of all great joyous lights. The Gandharva king, diamond tree flower banner, found the door of liberation, causing all trees to richly flourish, causing all who see them to be delighted. The Gandharva king, universal manifestation of adornments, found the door of liberation, skillfully entering into the sphere of all Buddhas, and bestowing peace and happiness on all living beings. At that time, the Gandharva king, sustaining the nation, imbued with the power of the Buddha, looked over all the hosts of Gandharvas and said in verse, The innumerable doors to the realm of the Buddhas cannot be entered by any sentient beings. The Buddha is like the nature of space, pure. He opens the right path for all worlds. In each one of the Buddha's pures is an ocean of virtues, all replete, all worlds are benefited and pleased by them. This is what tree light can see. The vast ocean of sorrow and suffering of the world, the Buddha can evaporate entirely. The Buddha, compassionate, has many techniques. Clear eyes has a deep understanding of this. The ocean of lands of the ten directions is boundless. The Buddha illuminates them all with the light of knowledge causing them to wash away all wrong views. This is where tree flower enters. The Buddha, over countless aeons in the past, cultivated great compassion and skill in means to pacify all the worlds. This path universal sound can enter. The Buddha body is pure. All like to see it. It can produce endless enjoyment in the world as the causes and effects of liberation are successfully fulfilled. Good eyes skillfully demonstrates this. Sentient beings are confused, always going in circles. Their barriers of ignorance are most firm and dense. The Buddha expounds the great teaching for them. This, Lion Banner is able to expound. The Buddha manifests everywhere a body of wondrous form, with innumerable differentiations equal to sentient beings, by various means enlightening the world. Wondrous sound looks upon the Buddha in this way. The infinite doors of knowledge and means, the Buddha opens for all sentient beings to enter the true practice of supreme enlightenment. This diamond banner well observes. Within an instant, millions of aeons, the Buddha's power can show this with no effort, bestowing peace and comfort equally on all sentient beings. This is the liberation of pleasing adornments. Furthermore, the Kumbanda king, Increase, found the door of liberation, of the power to eliminate all maliciousness. The Kumbanda king, Dragon Leader, found the door of liberation, 
cultivating a boundless ocean of practices. The Kumbanda King, Adornment, found the door of liberation, knowing what is pleasing to the minds of all sentient beings. The Kumbanda King, Beneficial Action, found the door of liberation, of work, perfecting pure radiance. The Kumbanda King, Fearsome, found the door of liberation, showing all sentient beings the safe path free from fear. The Kumbanda King, Sublime Adornment, found the door of liberation, evaporating the ocean of cravings of all sentient beings. The Kumbanda King, High Peak Intellect, found the door of liberation, manifesting clouds of lights in all realms of being. The Kumbanda King, Brave Strong Arms, found the door of liberation, shedding light everywhere, destroying mountain-like barriers. The Kumbanda King, Boundless, Pure Flower Eyes, found the door of liberation, revealing the treasury of non-regressing great compassion. The Kumbanda King, Enormous Face, found the door of liberation everywhere, manifesting bodies, transmigrating in the various states of being. At that time, the Kumbanda King, Increase, imbued with the power of the Buddha, looked over all the assembled Kumbandas and said in verse, Perfecting the power of patience, the guide of the world, cultivated practice for the sakes of of beings for countless aeons, forever leaving the confusion of worldly pride. Therefore, his body is most majestically pure. In the past, the Buddha cultivated oceans of practices, edifying innumerable beings in all quarters, benefiting the living by all sorts of means. This liberation door, Dragon Leader, has found. The Buddha saves sentient beings with great knowledge, clearly understanding all of their minds, and taming them with various powers. Adornment Banner, seeing this, gives rise to joy. Spiritual powers appear responsibly like reflections of a light. The wheel of the teaching in reality is like space, being thus in the world for incalculable aeons. This is realized by Beneficent King. Sentient beings are blinded by ignorance, always confused. The light of Buddha illuminates the path of safety, to rescue them and cause suffering to be removed. Fearsome contemplates this teaching well. Floating and sinking in the ocean of desire, full of all pains, the all-illuminating light of wisdom annihilates this all, and, having removed pain, then expounds the truth. This is the realization of splendid arrays. The Buddha body responds to all. None do not see it. With various techniques, it, te it teaches the living. Sound like thunder, showering the rain of truth, this teaching high intellect enters. The pure light is not shown in vain. Any who meet it, will cause to dissolve heavy barriers. It expounds Buddha's virtues without any bounds. Grave arms can clarify this profound principle. To give peace and comfort to all sentient beings, he practiced great compassion for innumerable ages, removing all pains by various means. This is the vision of pure flower. Spiritual powers, independent and inconceivable, that body appears throughout the ten directions, yet nowhere does it come or go. This is what enormous face understands. Furthermore, the Naga King, Viru Paksha, found the door of liberation, extinguishing all the burning pains of the state of Nagas. Chakra found the door of liberation, instantaneously transforming his own Naga form and manifesting the forms of countless beings. The Naga King, Cloud Sound Banner, found the door of liberation, speaking of the boundless ocean of Buddha's names, with pure, clear voice in all realms of being. The Naga King, Flaming Mouth, found the door of liberation, 
showing the differences in arrangements of boundless Budo worlds. The Naga King, Cloud Banner, found the Door of Liberation, showing all sentient beings the ocean of great joy and virtue. The Naga King, Takshaka, found the Door of Liberation, destroying all fears with the pure voice of salvation. The Naga King, Boundless Steps, found the Door of Liberation, showing the form body of all Buddhas and the succession of their aeons. The Naga King, Pure Form, found the Door of Liberation, producing the ocean of great delight and joy of all sentient beings. The Naga King, Great Sound, traveling everywhere, found the Door of Liberation, manifesting the pleasing unobstructed sound that is equal to all. The Naga King, No Heat or Torment, found the Door of Liberation, annihilating all the sufferings of the world with a cloud of great compassion that covers all. At that time, the Naga King, Viru Paksha, imbued with the power of the Buddha, looked over all the hosts of Nagas and said in verse, See how the Buddha's teaching is always thus. It helps and benefits all sentient beings. It can, by the power of great compassion and pity, rescue those who have fallen into fearful ways. The various differences of all sentient beings, the Buddha shows all on the tip of a hair, filling the world with spiritual demonstrations. Chakra sees in this way. The Buddha, by means of unlimited spiritual power, tells of his names and epithets. As many as all beings, he makes them all hear, whichever they like. Thus can cloud sound understand. The beings of infinite, boundless lands, the Buddha can make enter a single pore. While sitting at rest among these hosts, this is the vision of flaming mouth. The irascible minds of all sentient beings, their bondage in ignorance, are deep as the sea. The Buddha compassionately removes it all. Flame Naga, observing this, can see it clearly. The virtuous powers of all sentient beings appear clearly in the Buddha's pores. Having shown this, he returns all to the ocean of blessings. This is the vision of High Cloud Banner. The pores of the Buddha's body radiate the light of wisdom. That light intones a sublime sound everywhere. All who hear it are free from worry and fear. Takshaka realizes this way. The lands, adornments, and succession of ages of all the Buddhas of all times appear as they are in the Buddha's body. Broad steps seize this spiritual power. I observed the Buddha's practice in the past, making offerings to the ocean of all Buddhas, increasing his joy with all of them. This is the entry of Naga Swift. The Buddha, by means of expedient sound adapted to type, expounds truth for the masses, making them rejoice. That sound is pure and sublime, enjoyed by all who hear. Going everywhere, hearing this, joyfully awakens. Sentient beings are oppressed in all states of existence, whirled about by habitual delusion. With no one to rescue them, the Buddha liberates them with great compassion. No heat or torment realizes this. Furthermore, the Yaksha King, Vishravana, found the door of liberation, saving evil beings by boundless skill and means. The Yaksha King, independent sound, found the door of liberation, examining all sentient beings, saving them with appropriate techniques. The Yaksha King, solemn weapon bearer, found the door of liberation, of ability to give sustenance to all emaciated, evil, sentient beings. The Yaksha King, great wisdom, found the door of liberation, 
extolling the ocean of virtues of all sages. The Yaksha king, lord of flaming eyes, found the door of liberation, observing all sentient beings and engendering great compassion and knowledge. The Yaksha king, adamantine eye, found the door of liberation, aiding and comforting all sentient beings by various appropriate means. The Yaksha king, arm of courage and strength, found the door of liberation, entering into the meaning of all teachings. The Yaksha king, bravely resisting general, found the door of liberation, guarding all sentient beings, causing them to abide in the way, with none living in vain. The Yaksha king, rich in material goods, found the door of liberation, increasing all beings' stores of blessings and virtues, and causing them to always feel blissful. The Yaksha king, power to smash high mountains, found the door of liberation, producing the light of wisdom and power of the Buddhas whenever called to mind. At that time, the great Yaksha king, learned, imbued with the power of the Buddha, looked over the assembly of Yakshas and said in verse, The evils of sentient beings are extremely fearsome. They do not see the Buddha for hundreds, thousands of aeons. Drifting through life and death, they suffer myriad pains. To rescue them, the Buddhas appear in the world. The Buddha saves and protects all worlds, appearing before all sentient beings. To put a stop to the pains of transmigration and fearsome realms, independent sound enters this gate of teaching. Sentient beings, evil deeds create multiple barriers. The Buddha demonstrates sublime principles to break through them, while lighting up the world with a bright lamp. This truth weapon bearer can see. The Buddha cultivated practices over oceans of aeons past, praising all the Buddhas in the ten directions. Therefore, he has a lofty, far-reaching fame. This is what is understood by wisdom. His wisdom is like space, unbounded. His reality body is immense, inconceivable. Therefore, he appears in all ten directions. Flaming eyes can observe this, intoning the wondrous sound in all realms of being. He expounds the truth to benefit the living. Wherever his voice reaches, all pains vanish. Delving into this teaching is adamant eye. All profound, vast meanings the Buddha can expound in one phrase. Thus, the principles of the teaching are equal to the world's. This is the realization of courageous wisdom. All sentient beings are on false paths. Buddha shows them the right path, inconceivable, causing all worlds to be vessels of truth. This brave general can understand. All virtuous activities in the world come from the Buddha's light. The ocean of Buddha's wisdom is immeasurable. Such is the liberation of materially rich. Recall the countless aeons of the past, when the Buddhas cultivated the ten powers, able to fulfill all the powers. This is comprehended by High Banner.